The siphonic drain works essentially by excluding air from the system. So the drainage body is designed specifically to have a low friction. As the water passes over the drainage body, the baffle plate has fins that stop the vortex action that would naturally occur in a gravity drain. So the fins stop that happening. In the baffle plate, what it does is when the water level rises just to the underside of the baffle plate, no more air can get into the system. And that essentially brings in the negative pressure. When plugs of water accelerate down the vertical parts of the system, that essentially sucks the water from the roof. The benefits of a siphonic roof drainage system is that you can have flat pipe running completely horizontal across the entire length of the building. Then you can drop that pipe to any centralized location that you need to in order to coordinate with the rest of the building. You can route your system to a point that suits the civil drainage as well as, as the, the building user. Additionally, you're going to end up using smaller diameter pipe in most cases as compared to a traditional gravity roof drainage system. When you have smaller diameter pipe, you have less weight on top of the roof, so you need less structural support. And what you then have is a series of flat level pipes that are flowing with the water at high velocities and it's transporting similar amounts of water far more efficiently. So where, where we're at today is this is Zern's test facility for siphonic drains and what we're doing is we're developing the siphonic drains here, we're testing them to ensure that they're continually giving the best product for the market. So regardless of who touches the drain, whether it's the contractor, the engineer, the architect, we keep each of them in mind whenever we're coming up with a new product, okay? From the contractor perspective, we have this drain come standard with a deck plate that's gonna minimize your installation time. Almost cut it in half as compared to using a roof sump receiver and under deck clamp. From the engineering standpoint, we are able to work with the engineer and architect through the entire design process and take that load off of them so that they can focus on the rest of their job. We offer a, a full free consultation service so we can work with the client to design a system that most suits them, is the most efficient for them, protects their building the best, but as important as anything else, it costs them less. And quite a lot of the time, especially for large warehouse type buildings, we can offer a siphonic system that saves the client a, a whole lot of money. A siphonic system must work at a minimum of three feet per second. And that renders the system self-cleansing for debris in, in the inside of the pipework. I was absolutely amazed at just how quick the debris flowed down through the drain and how it coped with what would seem like a deluge of debris, it was flushed away. It, it can deal with different types of debris as well, but the suction in the system is enough to pull that through. The key points between siphonic drainage and gravity drainage would be smaller pipes, flat level pipes, potentially fewer drains, more efficient, less ponding on the roof, easier to, to route and coordinate with other services, and flexible drain discharge locations. All equals potential savings and potentially large savings for the, the building user. Reach out to our design team and ask for a consultation to see, hey, is Siphonic gonna be right for my project? You would submit a project request form to us through our web portal. From there, you will be presenting us with your project documents. And then from there, we'll come up with an initial design give you a call. We will be with you every step of the process. From gravity roof drainage to siphonic roof drainage, we have been able to maximize the performance of both types of roof drain solutions. So regardless of what your project needs are, we are going to be able to meet or exceed whatever your project requires.